today we are talking about all of my whips, all of the in progress, not finished things. And there's quite a few. Okay, as is you per what? As is per usual with any video I have that is a list of some sort. Um, this is in no particular order. So they're all sitting at my feet and we're just gonna pick one up and see what it is. Um, so first up is the Entangle Shawl by Expression Fiber Arts. Um, I have been working on this on and off for like two years. <laughs> it's a giant rectangle with made with fingering weight yarn. Um, I am using the suggested yarn, which is their ephemeral fingering. Now they don't have this yarn base all the time. It comes and goes as of this recording. I'm not sure if they currently have it in stock. Um, but when I finally got around to ordering the yarn for this project, the colors that they had in the sample were no longer available. So from what was available, this is what I picked. Hold on, it's kind of a mess. Haven't worked on this in a while. Um, anyway, so I have a cream. Okay, it's a feather and fan stitch pattern, okay? So there's a cream and then it transitions into a lavender. And then we've got a darker purple, okay? And then we have this beautiful, like, burgundy mauve color. And then the center is blue, okay? And then it goes back the other way. So back to the burgundy mauve, the lighter purple, and now I'm transitioning into the lavender. Um, so I'm nearly done with it. Okay. I just, there's other things and I'm kind of over it, but it's, it's still beautiful and it's lovely. So the ephemeral fingering is 69% Peruvian Pima cotton and 31% Lyocell. It has, it's shimmery. It's got a lovely drape to it. This is actually for a, another project. That I'm going to be using the leftovers of this on as well and I have some left over from a, another project that also used this um, but that one is not a this year project that is a next year project so I'm not even gonna bother talking to you about it um, but this is what the ephemeral fingering looks like and it is so soft it's so pretty i just what i need to do is i need to spend 30 minutes a day just plugging away at this thing so i can get it done off my needles i specifically bought more size six needles uh four millimeters so that way i could have my needle tips back because <laughs> i had them on interchangeables and so i bought some chiagu so that way i could just get it done and over with. All right, so 30 minutes a day to finish that. Next up is also Expression Fiber Arts. This is Galene. Um, I started this March 29th. I am using the suggested yarn. Um, they have reconfigured this pattern for a different yarn base, so there's both options. I am using the original suggested yarn, which was the Allure Silk Fingering in the color Sterling Silver. Um, this is 100% Mulberry Silk, so it is very silky and shiny and drapey, and it is gorgeous. But just like Entangle, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> it's gigantic. It's going to be huge, but it's a lot of work. I'm, I'm just over it, but I need to do 30 minutes a day, just like on the other one. So I can just get it done and get my needles back. All right. Yeah. So I know I said, we're not going in any particular order, but we are going in the order of my handy dandy notebooks. 
um, because that's just the easiest thing. All right, next up is Veronica Lindbergh. This is the Cozy Cocoa Hood. This is actually for my mother. I have made one of these for her before in a lavender color um, and she wanted more in other colors. So I am using Knit Plick, what? Knit Picks Gloss DK. Um, this one is the color Cranberry. And this is a very squishy pattern. It's going to be so awesome. The only thing that I'm not doing, well, two things. I am not pairing this with mohair. It makes my mom's head itch. And there's not going to be a bow to tie on the end. So I'm not doing the long ribbons down the bottom to tie in a bow because she doesn't want those. Um, I started this April 21st and I need to get this done and to her so I can make the other two that she wants. She wanted a green one. So we picked Everglade. It's kind of like a Christmassy green color. Not <laughs> yeah. Um, and then this one is Clarity. It's kind of like an icy blue. And these are from Knit Picks Gloss DK. Um, I like this hood a lot. If I'm not sick of it by the time I finish the other two, <laughs> I may consider making myself one. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, from Kika because Kika's patterns are fun. I think that is all from my first notebook. Um, yeah, so on to my, it's right there, on to my second handy dandy notebook. First one up in my second handy dandy notebook is the emotional support chicken. Yes, the one that has taken over Ravelry, that emotional support chicken. However, I am doing it in bike team colors. Now our uniforms, race kits, practice jerseys, all of them are black and white with hot pink. Okay. Hence the black, white, and hot pink chicken. <laughs> this is all stash yarn. The, I believe the black, the hot pink, and the yellow all comes from Hobby Lobby. And the white is from Plymouth Yarns. Um, this is for a purpose. This is for one of our Last year he was a senior, so he's no longer writing and he is going off to school and I need to finish this so I can give it to him before he leaves. So this one has a deadline. Um, I started this way back in June. Okay. I started this June 9th and I think it looks funny this way. <laughs> anyway, I need to finish this chicken and give him the chicken. So bike team colors. I mean, have you ever seen hot pink on a chicken? Well, now you have. Okay. Next up in the handy dandy notebook. Nope. Not that one. That one's finished. That one's finished too. Next up is Hermione's everyday socks. This is from Erica Luter. It is on Ravelry. And it's these things. I have talked about this yarn before. This is Expression Fiber Arts Sincere Sock in the color release. This was a limited edition colorway. So this color is no longer available, but the yarn base is. It's one of theirs. They're always there yarn bases, forever there. Um, this is the bottom of the sock. Isn't that so pretty? Um, yeah. I am, here's my heel, and I am like halfway through the foot, I think. No, I am more than halfway through the foot. I have like that much more to go, and then I start the toe. So I don't know what is taking me so long in finishing this. Um, I started this one July 12th, so I still need to finish this one and make a second sock. Um, I have no complaints about the pattern. Um, it's turning out great and I'm excited to finish these so I can wear them because that's the whole point in making the socks so you can wear the socks. Uh, 
Yeah. July 12th is when I started these. I need to finish them so I can make more socks with... I have a lot of sock yarn, okay? <laughs> Next up is the Rowan Midwinter Blanket. Now, I started this back in July because I wanted to have it done before cold weather hit. We are over halfway through September and I'm still not done. <laughs> yeah, um, July 20th to be exact is when I started it. I had this awesome idea that I would finish it before July was over. Yeah, that obviously didn't happen. But I am this far. These are the squares that are blocked. Um, I have a couple more sitting over there that are just waiting to be blocked. I have one square in progress. Um, yeah, so I am using stash yarn for this. My main color, which is the gray, it comes from Karen. It's Karen One Pound in soft gray mix. I wanted it to be more earthy than what the options were for the options and the pattern suggestions. Um, so I did. All of this is stash yarn, okay? Um, so one of the squares is Basic Stitch. That's from Lion Brand. Yeah, it's from Lion Brand. Um, and the color Olive. Another one, I know which one this one is. It is the reindeer. Okay. This is coming from AC Moore. I have a lot of AC Moore stash yarn, by the way. So you can't get this one anymore because AC Moore no longer exists. Um, the reindeer is a tweed in a dark green color. And then we have loops and threads. This comes from Michaels in the color deep forest. Then another AC Moore in the color summer green. And then we have one from Red Heart. I know what I said about Red Heart. I still stand by that in the color hunter green. And then the tree comes from Hobby Lobby and it's just black because yes, earthy tones, but also it feels like misty mountains um, because that's my jam. Okay, I just, yeah, there's, there's no other reason for it other than I love the earthy, misty, mountainy colors. And I'm excited to get this done. I need to finish it. How about we do like one square a week currently? Um, you know, that'll put me like Christmas. But with working on the other things <laughs> and how busy my schedule is currently, one square a week would be a good goal. So Rowan Midwinter Blanket started it in July. Need to get it done so that way I can use it when it's actually cold outside because we're almost there. The weather is being a little bipolar. Okay, these ones come from Harry Potter. It is the first book, the Harry Potter Knitting Magic, and it is the Quidditch House Socks. Is that what it's called? No. I don't remember what it's called, but I am using suggested yarn, which is Cascade Heritage in the suggested colors. So I will show you what I have. I have one, just one Ravenclaw sock. Okay. And I have one Gryffindor sock. This one looks like ketchup and mustard. <laughs> anyway, I have one Slytherin sock. These use an afterthought heel, so that's what this is. I am far enough away from my heel placement line that I can go in and finish my heel before I finish my foot. Um, my youngest child wanted me to make sure that I wasn't going to forget Hufflepuff. I'm not going to forget Hufflepuff. So my plan is to make one of each house and then make the second sock because it's fun that way and I can do what I want. Um, yeah, so I started Ravenclaw, um, August 26th and I finished 
this one November. We're not in November. Finished it September 1st. Um, Gryffindor started September 1st, finished it September 15th. And Slytherin, I started September 15th and I am still working on it. Um, the next one is obviously Hufflepuff and then I will finish the second sock for all of these. Um, I'm excited to wear these because it's fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's Harry Potter Quidditch socks. The last one in my handy dandy notebook is from the Lord of the Rings knitting book called Fellowship of the Knits. Um, I started on September 22nd, which is Frodo and Bilbo's birthday, also known as Hobbit Day, and it's a hobbit. Well, will be a hobbit. Right now it's a headless, armless, one-legged hobbit, but it is a hobbit. Um, yep, started it September 22nd. I am using leftover yarn from the Harry Potter dolls, which is the suggested yarn, I think. Um, I'm using Cascade 220. This is the super wash one. Um, he's got knees, shapely calves, an ankle, and a flat foot. Um, yeah, before I continue on, I need to make his belly a little fatter. <laughs> but my youngest child wanted a hobbit, so make the hobbit. He picked out the colors for the clothes. They are over there somewhere. Um, yeah, the head is done in a needle size, one size larger than the body. And I think I need to get tiny buttons because I don't have any tiny buttons. So that's going to be fun. So I have a scary looking hobbit. Looks like I'm a serial killer. <laughs> anyway, so these are all of the current projects. My future plans is just salty days. I don't have anything after salty days planned. Um, how many whips do you have? I have 10 if you count the second sock of, no, well, I guess 11. I don't know. If you count the second sock of all the socks, I have 11. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I can't count guys. How many do you have? And how many is too many? Yeah, how many do you have? Can you beat me?